Nervous John? Ex-CIA Director Brennan lashes out at President Trump after McCabe firing by Joshua Kaplan for the thegatewaypundit.com. On Friday evening, Attorney General Jeff Sessions fired Andrew McCabe on the recommendations of the FBI disciplinary officials. In a statement, Sessions said both the OIG and FBI OPR reports conclude that McCabe had made an unauthorized disclosure to the news media and lacked candor, including under oath on multiple occasions. The FBI expects every employee to adhere to the highest standards of honesty, integrity, and accountability. As the OPR proposal stated, all FBI employees know the lacking candor under oath results in dismissal and uh, that our integrity is our brand session added. Yeah, but I think there's more to it. But moving right along, hours later, President Trump took to Twitter to laud the move. Andrew McCabe fired a great day for the hardworking men and women of the FBI, a great day for democracy. Sanctimonious James Comey uh, was his boss and made McCabe look like a choir boy. He knew all about the lies and corruption going on at the highest levels of the FBI. The next morning, Brennan lashed out at President Trump for his tweet about McCabe. When the full extent of your venality, venality meaning venomous, I guess, moral turpitude, listen to these words he's using, and political corruption, yeah, Brennan, yeah, you deep state operative, you're against the American belief system, you belong behind bars, not collecting any uh, uh, pension, pr uh, you know, I can't wait for this one to go. Uh, venality, moral turpitude, and political corruption becomes known. You will take your rightful place as a disgraced demagogue in the dustbin of history. Wow. You may scapegoat Andy McCabe, but you will not destroy America. America will triumph over you. Do these delusional people do not realize that Trump won the election because the American people wanted Trump in office? What a, you know, this one, I would, I would uh, actually, if I was the judge, I'd throw the book at this one, really. Is Brennan's tweet a sign that he's anxious? Yes about his alleged role in the Steele dossier, if that's not the only crime, right? House Intelligence Chairman Devin Nunez is reportedly investigating Brennan and other Obama officials for their role in promoting the dossier. Yes, don't get mad, get even. Yes, absolutely. The New York Post Paul Speary says Nunez is also investigating whether Brennan perjured himself in a public testimony about the dossier? Of course he did. Speary reported in his May 2017 testimony before the intelligence panel, Brennan emphatically denied the dossier factored into the intelligence community's publicly released conclusion last year that Russia meddled in the 2016 election to help Trump's chances of victory. Brennan also swore that he did not know who commissioned the anti-Trump research document, excerpt here, even though senior national security and counterintelligence officials at the Justice Department and FBI knew the previous year that the dossier was funded by Hillary Clinton and her campaign. No, she's the head honcho. Forget the campaign. Without her orders, nobody would be able to do anything. Former Secret Service agent Dan Bongino recently told Fox News that Brennan is in a world of trouble right now over his testimony on the dubious Steele dossier. And you know, all the testimony is on tape, you know, filmed and everything. There's no way you can weasel out of it. Can't wait till they start prosecuting. Newsmax reports my sources on this are telling me John Brennan is in a world of trouble right now. 
Bongino told Fox News, Fox and Friends program. Yeah, I remember when he said that. I have a tape of him there. Back in August of 2016, he gives a private briefing to Senator Harry Reid, Democrat, of course. He gives that briefing to Reid. Reid fires off a letter to the FBI. In that letter is information that clearly came from the dossier. That means that at that point, Brennan was aware of the dossier, but in May of 2016, uh, 17, excuse me, under oath, he denied knowing who commissioned it, said Bongino. I love Bongino, a frequent Fox News commentator and owner of the Dan Bongino Show podcast. The CIA has a central role in the verification of foreign assets and information we get from foreign assets, Bongino said. It is not plausibly deniable that John Brennan did not know who commissioned that dossier. He is in a world of trouble because he raised his right hand and he said the exact opposite. No wonder he's going off and I just got so aggravated from his tweet. Because I find, you know, like, who thinks they're a demagogue? John Brennan thinks that uh, that he's a demagogue. In the dustbin of those were na- those are nasty words, real nastiness. He's a vile human being. That's all I have to say. Because you know, uh, to speak like that, you would think that he would be on the up and up. Let's say, quote, no. He is the worst of the worst. Look at what he what came out of his mouth. I can't believe it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.